All right. Is my husband too cheap? Dear Bill, I'm a 34-year-old fucking lady and have been married for six years. I'm hoping you can help me with some advice on my marriage. For the most part, my husband and I are pretty similar, but we have completely different outlooks on finances. Already, already, I'm already thinking sexist shit here, so I got to stop. All right? I'm picturing you just buying a bunch of dumb shit that, and you're fucking, you're, you're driving him to an early grave. But let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe this guy is a cunt. Going to be open-minded here. All right? Open-minded. All right. My husband works full-time, and I work part-time myself, and I'm, and am a... Start over. My husband works full time and I work part time myself and am a housewife. I swear to God, that's how she wrote the sentence. Should be, and I am a housewife and am a housewife. You never have fucking three short words that begin with A in a row. Myself and am a housewife and am a, and am a housewife. That sounds right. My husband works full time and I work part time myself and am a housewife. I get it. You fucking spoke this into a speaker, right? That little magic device on your phone? Um, Early in our marriage, we both worked full-time, but it became difficult for me when I would clean the house on days off and he would not be helpful in sharing those duties. Oh, this guy's old school. Lifting his feet up as you come by with the fucking Swifter. Um, (laughs) he He would just play video games. And I'm not a clean freak or anything. I just don't like living in a shit show of a house. Oh, my God. I fucking love this woman. You're right up my alley. Uh, Before we were married, he would let dirty laundry pile up for weeks before he washed it. Jesus Christ, this guy's an animal. I probably should have spoke to him about it. Spoke to him about that before we got married or lived together first, but I did not see it as a huge issue at a time. Oh, you were young. What did you know? Anyways, after a year of marriage, we decided that the best way would be for me to do the housework and work part-time and make dinners while he worked full-time. Ugh, Jesus Christ, this fucking guy is crushing it. He, you know, he's, he's got an old-school wife here. Listen, listen, you quit your dream. I'll live mine. When I come home, you better have this place tidy with the fucking steak on the table. Um, all right. Here's the issue. Here is the issue with our marriage, and I would love your opinion. This is where if I was her girlfriend, we'd be clasping both hands, both of our hands across the table. This is why I need you, okay? Oh, I'm here for you, Karen. I'm here for you. Just, just get it out. Uh, my husband is very, um, is very conservative with our money. This guy doesn't have one redeeming fucking thing. He's a slob. He's a fucking tightwad. I, I hate this guy. Um, he will save and keep our 20 grand in our finances for any... Well, that's smart, though. I don't know. He is kind of smart. He will save and keep our $20,000 in our finances for anything that could happen. I admire it and think it's very smart. However, he loses sleep over it, and we ra- rarely will go out and do anything together as a couple. Yeah, this guy's he's, oh, he's taking it too far, all right? Um, we make enough money between the two of us to pay our bills and save, mind you. Hey, you don't got to fucking reprimand me. Um, he gives me a sum amount allowance every month to buy groceries and other personal items. If I use another card, he will confront me and tell me not to use the other debit card. And if I am low on funds for groceries, we need to buy ramen for the rest of the month. All of our arguments are about money. I believe in saving money, but at the same time, I think it's great to live a little and buy items for enjoyment from time to time. I love to go out Somewhere fun. I'd love to go out somewhere fun on a date. Oh, my God, dude. This is sad. With my husband, without him worrying about money the whole time. I can't buy concert tickets without asking him first to surprise him. Like, <laughs> this guy is fucking... Likewise, he never surprises me with anything either. If this thing ends with you on your fucking hands and knees scrubbing the floorboards because he wouldn't even buy you a fucking Swifty... Um, what should I do? I've confronted him about how I think his fear is unhealthy. Am I wrong? I'm telling you. I'm, she goes, I'm telling you. It's a rough one, okay? I love it. I love that you threw that in there. She's got a sense of humor. This, I, I think this woman's cool. Thanks. I love your comedy. Listen to the, your podcast every week. Uh, go fuck yourself. Um, all right. Yeah, this, this woman's a fucking champ. The amount of shit she's putting up with. 
All right. She's got a sense of humor. She's listening to the podcast. I, I, I you know what? I, I, or maybe she's snowing me. I think, I think, I think you're totally cool. Yeah, this guy needs to fucking. He needs to relax. Um, I don't know. What would you do here? Just say, look, something's got to change here. All right, because I haven't been to a fucking cheesecake factory in like nine years. All right, you got to take me. This guy, this guy, you know what it is? He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand women. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. You guys like to go out, all right? And I think you're cool enough that you don't, well, who the fuck doesn't like to go out? That's such a dumb thing I just said. I, I, you know, I'm too stupid to explain it, but I totally get where you're at. This guy needs to take you out, all right? He needs to remind you why you guys fell in love. He needs to, you know, just go every once in a while. Just say, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go out and just blow fucking a couple hundred bucks on a meal, all right? That's it. And then we just, Jesus Christ, if you spend too much money, it's ramen noodles. I mean, this guy, it's like, this, this guy sounds like uh, he grew up during the, in, during the Depression. I, and, you, and you're nice enough to admire that he thinks about fucking money. You got 20 grand saved up, which is better than most people. He could just loosen the purse strings. Let a couple of nuggets fall out once every six weeks, for Christ's sake. Um, what do you do there? Uh, how do you go about that? I don't know, a tight wad, that's a tough one, man. A cheap guy is just just a cheap person. They're just fucking cheap. That's like you're not even going to enjoy life, for Christ's sake. Um, I think you got to start roofing them. I hate to say it, but, you know, every once in a while, the date rape drug is uh, it's called for. I think you need to fucking, this is what I would do. No, nah, you can't do that, so you can't do that. That's fucking... I'd say I would just fucking give him the date rape drug, let him pass out at the table, and then I would just go out and booze it up, and then I'd come home, and he'd be like, and he'd just be like, "Did I did I fall asleep at the kitchen table again last night?" Yeah, you did. It was weird. It was like you were eating the ramen noodles. <laughs> you just you went face down in it. I'll tell you, thank God you're too cheap to boil water, and that water was at fucking room temperature. You might have burned your face. Um, I you you either got to roofie him, or as in go out, or, or, or you got to, or you got to just say, listen, I need to go out. Okay, I can't keep living like some fucking broad in a fucking miserable fairy tale that's waiting for his for for fucking Prince Charming to show up. All right? Here's the deal, fucko. Once a month, you're taking me out. All right? You're making me feel like a fucking lady. You're making me feel attractive. All right? Or I'm going to start fucking working again. I'm sitting here watching your sweaty balls fucking underwear. And you can't even take me to a goddamn Chuck.